this video I'm going to go over everything to do with reminders in VCRM. Uh, so we'll start here at the dashboard with the agent reminders section. If you're a new user, if you talk to any of our long-term users, I think you'll find that a lot of them really rely off of the agent reminders section of the dashboard to keep them organized, make sure they don't forget about anything. It's a very useful tool in the system, especially when you have things that you need to do for every client along the way that you can't do at the time of booking. You have to wait until it's closer to the time of travel. It's easy to forget about that stuff, so it's nice to be able to put in a reminder uh, for anything you could possibly need to do in the future, and then you, this can kind of serve as your to-do list each day. Um, so you can see here are obviously some outdated reminders, but typically you're going to clear those out as you go. Uh, but once you complete the items that you need to do on your reminders, you can just check these boxes and mark them as complete. Or if something changes and you need to edit that, you can just click on the date here. You can change the date that is, it is due. You can change what it says. You can also change who it is assigned to. So if it's something that you were originally going to do, but you want to pass it off to another agent, you can remove your name, select another agent, and that will assign it to them. Now, when you do that, if you are just using the regular agent reminder section, you'll see you've got a sent and received column here. So sent means it's a reminder that you have sent to another agent. Received is one that you have received. Uh, the reason the sent reminders show here is because it will stay here until that other agent marks it as complete. So that's a way for you to know if it's been done or not without having to reach out to the other agent. You can just look here at the sent. There are also dashboard sections you can use that separate the sent and received reminders. I don't know if I have them on this account showing still. Yeah, so if you would rather have them separated out into two different sections, you can use the received and sent rather than the one with the two combined. It's completely up to you. These are typically for agency owners that are going to be assigning a lot of reminders to other agents. If that is not you, um, you might want to just hide these from your dashboard and just focus on this one here because you're not going to, it's not going to be very common that you're going to send reminders to other agents. Now as far as adding reminders into the system, um, you have to attach them to something. So whether it be a client's profile or their trip or their reservation or even the payment screen, um, basically all you need to do is go to a client's profile or, or any of those screens I just mentioned. And up here you've got a new reminder button. So you could say new reminder. Again, most of the time you're probably going to assign it to yourself. So that'll be you by default. You put in the date that you want it to be due. You type in whatever you want it to say. And then you'd click create. Now, while I'm on this screen, um, there's this checkbox here. You can assign reminders to multiple people. So if I were to assign this exact reminder to myself and to, let's say, Lisa and to Alicia, it will show up on all of our dashboards. If I do not check this, though, as soon as any of us mark it as complete, it will disappear for all of us because this is a task that just somebody needed to do. It doesn't matter who, it just needs to be done by someone. So you can you know, assign it to everyone. Once that first person gets it done and marks it complete, it disappears for everyone. So everyone knows that uh, it no longer needs to be done. Uh, what this checkbox is for is if I were to check this, it's gonna show up again on everyone's dashboard that I have assigned but each person will need to mark it as complete themselves. So that would be for tasks that need to be done by each person, not just one person. So I know a lot of agency owners use this for, um, like if there's training that needs to be done with a supplier, you could put the reminder under your own personal profile and then assign your ICs. Do this training by this date. And you could put a link in there if you want in the comments or something like that check this box and then they can mark them off as complete as they have completed that training. Now if you have multiple reminders you need to do um, rather than just click create here you could click create add new and it would save this one and then give you the blank box again to add the second one and the third and so on and once you're done you just click create and it will add that reminder to this profile in this example. So I've got one reminder under this client profile. You can click here to, it'll take you down to the bottom where it's um, actually 
housed where you can see the details and whether it's been complete or you could delete it if you don't need it anymore but this will also show up on your dashboard so put them under the screen that fits best so if it's someone that hasn't booked yet like this and I need to follow up with the client or remind myself to reach out to them again next week or anything like that I'm gonna probably put it under their profile if it's something to do with the clients trip specifically maybe you want to go into that trip and add the reminder in here you can see I have zero reminders under this trip because that other one I just did is under their profile instead what that also determines is when you click on the go to record on the dashboard is which screen it will take you to so if I click this it'll take me to a trip this will take me to a profile and so on so we've had this these features everything I've shown you so far for since the beginning um, but what we realized was that a lot of agents use the same reminders over and over again for every trip because they follow a process and I realized that you know it's time consuming to do the math to figure out okay I always do this 30 days before the client's trip obviously 30 days is easy to do the math on but when it's a random number like 68 days before the trip you gotta figure out what date that equals and every single trip so to save our users time so you don't have to create them from scratch every single time we created this reminder groups feature and this is like batches of reminders that you can pre-set up for commonly used reminders so you can see I have a bunch in here I'm just gonna create a, a basic new group here just to show you how it's done um, so you can categorize these however you want and you can have as many reminders under each group as you want so you can see a couple of ideas here I've got some for different types of situations like Disney bookings destination weddings monthly payment reminders generic reminders different things like that uh, it's up to you how you handle that so I'm gonna say add new group and you wanna name it something you're gonna recognize from just that word because when you go to apply them when you click apply reminder group it's gonna give you a list of all the groups you've created so you're gonna need to recognize what is what just from this name so I'm just gonna say something like that 2020 trip reminders um, you don't have to put a description in if you if you don't want to and then on the trigger screen here this is very important because it determines two things one it determines where you can apply these reminders to and then two it also determines which triggers you can use to set these up now I will say that probably 90 percent of these that you're gonna set up is probably gonna be with trip as the trigger screen that means you can only apply what I'm about to create to a clients trip you can't create it or you can't apply it to a group profile you can't apply it to a reservation or a client profile any of that because trip is a trigger screen and you cannot change this after you get started and start adding reminders to it so you're stuck with what you got so um, again 90 percent of these will probably be trip as a trigger screen the other common thing I see is some agencies that do a lot of groups will use profile slash group as a trigger screen because they want to assign batches of reminders to the group profile rather than each individual trip within that group but for this example I'm just going to use trip um, the group owner obviously is going to be yourself and then do you want to share this group with other agents or do you just want to use it for yourself so if you're an owner and you want to take the time to create some that that other agents might want to use check this box if not uncheck it so I'm just going to save this as is right now so now I've got the group created but I need to add the actual reminders to that so I'm gonna click on reminder tasks you can see I have none in here and so I'm gonna add my first one in here now again the task name you need to title it with something that you're gonna recognize what that reminder is just from that name so you know one thing that you might want to remember to do is pre-register your bookings shortly after it's booked so I'll just say pre-reg and then the reminder text is what you're actually gonna see on your dashboard so you can't leave this blank or you're gonna have a blank reminder on your dashboard every time you apply that so you could say something like that now you're gonna set up your trigger so when do you want to remind yourself about this now these are all the triggers that it can grab from the trip screen here um, I will say the 
the ones you're typically going to use is created date, which is when the trip was created, which is typically when it's been booked. That's what I would use for this one. But some other options you have for other reminders would be final payment due date, trip date, or return date. A lot of this other stuff is related to either the lead screen or the uh, canceled booking info section, which isn't commonly used, obviously, if the client didn't cancel their trip. So I would stick with those four. And in this case, uh, since you want to pre-register sometime after you've booked but before they've traveled, I'm just going to use created date as the trigger. And then the amount of days, let's just say five days after it has been created. And then for agent assigned, you are going to select yourself in most cases. Now, if you are an agency owner and let's say you have an assistant and you have 10 things that you need to set up reminders for, five of those things are, are things that you do yourself for your trips or your client trips. And the other five are things that you have an assistant do. When you set this up, you would assign yourself to the things that you're going to do and you're going to assign the assistant for the things that they do. That way, when you apply them, five reminders go to you, five reminders go to your assistant. Now, not to confuse anyone, but it gets a little bit complicated here. Is If you're in that situation where you have an assistant, you assign five to you and five to your assistant, and you also check that box on the last screen to share this with other agents. If any other agent uses the reminder group that you set up, since they are not the group owner, it's going to assign all 10 of those reminders to them themselves. Um, so you can't set up a reminder group to assign things to a different person than your IC that will be using that, if that makes sense. If not, um, you know, reach out. I'm happy to explain it a little bit more. Um, so anyway, I'm going to select myself here. I'm going to click Save. And now I've got it created. And if you look here, if I click on Tasks, I've got one in there. And I'll just add one more. Um, in this case, let's say maybe I want to send my clients a gift when they get back home to thank them uh, for booking through me. And on this one, I don't want to use create a date because sometimes clients book a year in advance, sometimes a month in advance. So it's almost impossible to use that as a trigger for something that needs to be done after they get back. So in this case, I'm going to use return date. And let's say I want to send that out or I want to remind myself to send it out maybe two days after they return. And then I will save and exit that. So now I've got two of them created. So now if I go back into this trip, I'll just refresh it. Anytime I book a trip, those are those are two things I need to remember to do. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click Apply Reminder Group. And I'm going to select the one that I just created. And see, now it's doing the math for me. It knows that five days after this created date, uh, this trip was created was June 14th. And two days after they return is August 17th. Now, if you have a long list of reminders, there are going to be times where you know, some of them may not apply for this particular trip. That's what this box is for. So you can ignore certain tasks, keep the rest, click apply. And I'll just apply both of these. And now you can see I have two reminders on this trip now. And I can click here to see them. And again, much like I can from the dashboard, I can edit them from here. If I want to, you know, if the 14th, uh, that's a good example. 14th is in the past and it's on a Sunday. So maybe I don't, I try not to work as much on the weekend. Um, so maybe I want to set it up to remind me, you know, on the 23rd, next Tuesday. And then I can save. And that will adjust the date in which that is due. And now if I click down here, you can see that. It's the new date. So that's everything you should uh, need to know about reminders. But as always, let us know if you have any questions. Thank you.